Hi, I'm Knut. I'm a developer advocate at Sanity.io and in this video I will show you how to get the current position uh, from the web API and use that as an initial value for your document. I will also show you how to make a promise of that uh, function in order to use the async functionality with initial value. So let's go ahead. So here we are in the portfolio starter that you can deploy yourself from sanity.io slash create. Let's say that we wanted to record the current position of your browser uh, when you created a new project. First, we have to make a field for the geopoint uh, data. And uh, Sanity has a geopoint type. So if you go into the reference docs and the schema types, you can find this here with the, uh, with the uh, specification. And here you have the data structure that this field holds. So let's just copy paste this actually. And project location this and let's just keep the order the same like this and I will save and it will reload and here we have the new field now I have installed the Google Maps plugin so if I go into this uh, we will have like a Google Maps selector where I can set the position if you have done that remember to add the API key in the config uh, so that it has access to the Google APIs. So instructions for that you can find in the Google Maps plugins readme or on the documentation page. Now we are ready to add the initial value that takes the current position of the browser and, uh, and inserts that. We begin with adding the initial value property and we kind of know that this will be async. So let's just add that. And yeah, we can just uh, return the object actually. So now we can take the field name, which is location. And then we are ready to, to figure out how to actually get the position. I don't always remember these things by heart. Uh, mostly, actually, I, I don't remember these things by heart. So I would have to Google. And if you Google browser and geolocation, chances are that you will come to the Mozilla web docs. And here we have actually the JavaScript implementation of getting the current position of the browser. We see that it has sort of this callback and it's tempting to just put this in here like this. And I guess exchange this with a function and uh, let's see what it actually returns. It returns the position. Position has some coordinates and that sounds like what we are interested in. Let's dive in here. It has latitude and longitude and altitude. So that sounds like what we need. Um, so we can do this and we can return like the data. So if we go into the reference documentation for the schema type uh, geopoint and scroll down, we find this input output example. And we can just copy this output and paste it in here and lose the quotation marks because this is JavaScript and not JSON. And I guess we have to replace the example data with the variables, chords, and we have some nice auto completion here. Chords, longitude, like this. And we can uh, hit save. Uh, and I don't expect this to actually work, but uh, let's just do it. No, nothing happens. And that's because this doesn't return the actual data, not as promised at least. So we have to do something here to 
to make that work. And what I will do is to replace this thing with a promise uh, that we write ourselves. So I will cut that out and write get position and that will return a promise. So we have to use then like this. Then we can write this function and it returns a new promise and a promise can be resolved or rejected. And then we paste in this again. And the first param was the success if it gets the position. So let's say resolve. And the second was error. So let's say reject. And it also had a, an options a param, but we will just skip that for now. And I have to write this correctly. So now we can try to save. And here we can see the location. So this worked nicely. So now we can try to actually block the uh, geolocation function in the browser just to see if we have proper error handling. So I will go up here and I'll say block. And it has to reload. Yeah, and now it seems to fail. So we, sh we should catch this error. So since this is a promise uh, and we return the reject, we can then append uh, a catch here. So that takes the error and Let's just console log it. And console log returns undefined. So this should be sufficient. I will save and let's see what happens. Yeah, now it works. There's no location because we have blocked it. And if we go into the console, we can see here that we have the, the position error, user denied user denied geolocation. So that's nice to know. So let's just allow this again. There it is. I think this really shows the flexibility of initial value and uh, what you can do with your browser. And I will definitely use this uh, on my own blog. In the next video, I will show you how to use initial value templates in order to create presets like different initial values for the same document type that your editors can choose from. I am Knut, thanks for watching, and I see you in cyberspace.